Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Redmi Note 10 and Redmi Note 10 Pro. So first of all, for that we will need the File Explorer. It's already pre-installed. If you tap on the File Explorer here, then for the very first time you have to allow some stuff uh, that the File Explorer have access to your pictures and so on. And so on and then we will have a nice overview here with all your pictures videos downloads and so on and so on but we will need here the in, in, in the first bar the folder icon so just go here on the folder icon on the third position and now you will have your internal storage here so these folders are all at your internal storage so i would recommend to you if you want to um make some space here uh, um, at your internal storage, you should always transfer some pictures from your camera and videos and so on. And you will find them always here at the DCIM folder. So tap on the DCIM folder, then tap here on camera. And here you, you will find all the pictures you have done with your camera. Okay, then you can mark the pictures you want to transfer here a circle, just mark them here. Uh, or you can also select them all with the icon here at the corner. Then you have selected them all. Okay, the next step would be to move these icons. So just go here on the move icon. So, and now he will give you already the opportunity to transfer it here to your SD card. Or maybe also to Google Drive if you want. No? But I would recommend to you if you have an SD card, you should do it at your SD card. Just go here on SD card. So, and now we are here on our SD card. As you can see, I have already some folders here. Don't be confused by maybe at your SD card you have no folders. Then you can create also some folders if you go here on more. And then you can create here a folder. Um, to have a better overview and so on. Yeah, but I have here already an existing DCM folder. I don't have to create a new one. So I go here on my DCM folder on the cameras. And now if you are the folder you want to have your pictures in, then just go here on paste. And now all my pictures from the internal storage will be transferred here to the folder here at the SD card. Let me go back here again. I want to show you something else um, to go again on the internal storage and uh, yeah if, if I'm here on the internal storage to so tap on the word internal storage and you're back here at the internal storage by the way then um, you will have again here this overview with the folders from the internal storage and what you can do is also that you mark complete folders if you just hold them yeah, and then uh, one of these folders are marked is marked and you can mark also other ones if you want um, to transfer them completely but please take care that you don't transfer this android folder here or this MUI folder because there's sensible operating system data in it and you can may um, destroy a bit of software and you cannot really work with your phone again so please be carefully just transfer folders which one only contains documents um, like uh, like pdf files and so on or music in general in general or pictures and videos and so on okay then the same thing go on move and then you can transfer it to your sd card yeah as you can see it is not that bad and uh, i have another tip for you um you just go here on the camera and uh, if you're on the camera you just go here on the three lines and then we will have here the settings. So tap on the settings and now you can change. Um, so if you scroll down a bit, scroll down. Now you can change the place where your future pictures should go to. And I would recommend to you that you save them directly to your SD card because then you don't have to transfer your pictures and videos all the time and so on. So it works automatically. So yeah. And another point is you cannot transfer app data to the SD card. Uh, the reason why is that the um, internal storage um, is much more faster than the SD card. 
so uh, your apps wouldn't run uh, good again so this is the reason why redmi don't want that you transfer apps to the sd card so it doesn't work but you would save a lot of uh, memory if you're transferring uh, pictures and videos and so on to the sd card and we have seen how it works here <laughs> okay I hope I could help you with this video and answer a question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in. Or maybe just subscribe me. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe until next time. Ciao.